Welcome to Learning in Language Arts with Mrs. Jones. Today's Greek and Latin Roots lesson will be focusing on anti, anti, or just ant, and contra. Our focus, GVC focus, will be students will use academic vocabulary in their writing and speaking. After this lesson, you will be able to identify the Greek root anti, identify the Latin root contra, and use these roots as clues to understand the meaning of words. So we have the Greek and Latin roots, ant, um, we can also have it with an I for anti, anti, and contra. And the English meaning of these words or these roots is against. Boys and girls, these roots are used at the first of the word um, as a prefix. And it adds that, that meaning, that against or opposite meaning. Here's an easy way to think of anti. Um, if you think of an antivirus, is something that you put on your computer, you download it on your, to your computer to uh, ward your computer computer against viruses. So it protects your computer against those viruses. So an antivirus would be against the virus. All right, boys and girls, we're going to add to our uh, interactive notebook. Take the paper that you have been given. Um, cut out each of the interactive pieces. You will apply the glue to the tabs and attach them to the left side of the page. Once you have attached them, trace around the edges and write the words from the graphic organizer on the following slide underneath each of these arrows. So these words antithesis, antisocial, antibody, antagonize, controversial, controversy, contrary and contravene. Write these words under each appropriate um, arrow. And then on the opposite page, boys and girls, please add these definitions to your interactive notebook. Antagonist, Antarctic, antibacterial, antonyms, contradict, and contrast. Finally, your interactive notebook should look like this when you are complete. Make sure that you add the appropriate word for the visuals um, on the right page. When you are finished with your interactive notebook, go see Mrs. Jones so that you can check it off with her. Good luck and have fun. Um, that is all for today. We'll see you again next time with Learning and Language Arts with Mrs. Jones.